there's a question which is asked that can you share some of the secrets of the fourth house which we generally do not find in youtube or in other courses or in other platforms in the internet all right so the fourth house is also as i made a video on untold secrets of the second house last week and in that i said that just like the second house the fourth house is also one of the least discussed or i would say that it's they think it's not a very prominent house to be discussed although it's a part of the kendra but today we will try to see some other aspects of the fourth house which is linked to the mind linked to the moon and linked to venus in a way that it helps to understand how the chart functions because the fourth house tells you how do you take things in life should i repeat how do you take things you take things lightly you take things personally or you are least concerned about things or you always take things in the wrong way does it sound like somebody no yes maybe <laughs> All right so if you're new then please like comment share and subscribe and share this video with somebody who wants to know about the fourth house and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him so now what's the fourth house fourth house is the fourth when we say fourth it can mean from any house but now we are talking of fourth house from the kendra from the lagna from the first house all right and it is one of the pillars of the horoscope because it's a kendra kendra are known as vishnu sthans and the trines are known as lakshmi sthans so now what exactly is the fourth house who is the karaka for the fourth house it's moon and it's venus these two are the primary karakas and mars is also the karaka in a way that uh, it shows land property and all this and some people also say mercury also because mercury is the karaka for education also because fourth house is also the education house of education school but here i want to say something different which you will rarely hear somewhere the fourth house will define how you feel about the horoscope how you feel about yourself how you feel about anybody about anything in life so you will see charts which have great placements mahapurush yoga raj yoga and you will see charts which have so called the most dreaded terrible worst of the worst yoga so called you no know, kal sarp dosh mangalik yoga this yoga that yoga sharapit yoga my god what not yogas are there <laughs> but you will see sometimes that your analysis about these yogas fail which means you will see maybe that somebody has a great mahapurush yoga or a great raj yoga associated with the ninth lord or the 10th lord or the lagna lord or the 5th lord but you will see that those yogas are not giving results you will see that sun is well placed moon is well placed the lord of the ascendant is well placed the 10th lord is well placed the 11th lord is well placed and for god's sake the 5th and the 9th lords are also well placed but where is the problem coming from why is the person rather than saying not why is he not successful i would say why is he not able to cope up with the challenges of life why has that person collapsed completely because the fourth house is damaged maybe have you looked at the fourth house whenever you see charts where you see that there there are a lot of negative areas but the person is able to cope up with those challenges still and when you see there are great things in a chart but the person is not able to utilize them or you do not see the results of the yogas fructifying to that extent which this chart is apparently promising well then maybe you have missed the fourth house because suppose somebody has a great raj yoga in the 10th house it may be in the 10th house but do not forget it is still in one of the 12 houses and how you feel about the 10th house 
will also be decided by the fourth house not because the planet in the fourth aspects the ten that's not the reason how do you feel about any house any area in life what is your default response to things okay suppose somebody comes and insults you hey you are an idiot you are so and so <laughs> do you believe that person are you convinced that what he or she is speaking about you is the truth or you understand that that person is simply just joking <laughs> do you go on fighting with people see why people go on fighting with each other i have seen people fighting uh, in ridiculous places like you know facebook and youtube i have seen them strangers fighting with each other because suppose somebody has made a video and he has said certain things which uh, you do not agree with so then what if the fourth house is damaged what happens you when you are seeing a video and somebody says something which you do not agree or you disagree or you think that person is speaking nonsense then what happens you take it very personal you feel as if he is speaking to you only then you have that irresistible temptation to blast that person or to reply back or somebody in the office maybe yes going on doing this with unknown strangers random i have seen people because their fourth house is not able to absorb the fourth house is the house of absorption what you absorb in life that's what the fourth house is how do you take life in general how do you take your father how do you take your mother how do you take your spouse oh my god seventh house great seventh house miserable fourth house totally ruined so that is why in india in the ancient days when they used to do horoscope matching genuinely before they used to do all this uh, gun and kuta milan and all this other fancy stuff they would not only look at the seventh house they would also look at the fourth house because the fourth house will tell you how much does it take to make somebody happy because see, when somebody has a good fourth house so fourth lord is in a good place you know great placements like that so then what happens then whatever comes of its own accord the person has a natural response to it natural response means suppose uh, somebody tells you that hey you know that person is getting married or suppose you go and tell somebody hey you know actually i am getting married so then what should be the default response suppose he or she is your friend or you just know that person your response should be so so now you have heard oh somebody is getting married so it's like receiving <laughs> so what should be your default so oh great congratulations nice to know that who is the lucky one yes that should be the default response but suppose you have a damaged fourth house then you start politics then your response will be like, okay nice good to know that you are getting married uh, who who is the person okay i see but there's some age difference right <laughs> oh actually uh, the person is from a different community your mother agreed your father agreed so one of the biggest symptoms of a terrible fourth house is finding trying to find gold in a garbage this is a perfect masala these people want spice in everything because they cannot digest things as it is they want to spice up life because their life is so filthy boring disgusting that they think that everything is boring without spice we need spice everywhere <laughs> so what they will do is they will try to find some fault somewhere which people will be like, oh my god this is a thing to find fault with in shrimad bhagavatam there is this example of daksh prajapati who used to repeatedly find fault in everybody lord including lord shiva and can you believe it daksha 
he once saw the sun surya narayan and then he saw ah the sun is not pure you know why because there are dark spots now everybody knows there are dark spots in the moon but how do you claim that there are dark spots in the sun but this personality would claim that he has seen dark spots so fourth house will tell you what is your default response to things which come to you if your fourth house is damaged you cannot see other people happy envy jealousy oh my god finding faults it's rampant you can see so when the fourth house is damaged you should do remedies for the moon okay so i have a video on 10 remedies for moon so please watch that and the same is with venus if you are not happy then how can you enjoy pleasure it's not possible right so that is why the fourth house is very important it's your default receptivity how do you take things in life again and again and again i'm saying the same thing later on you can keep analyzing okay property vehicles blah 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 all the nonsense <laughs> because if you do not know and yes now how to know if your fourth house is damaged you don't have to see the horoscope you don't have to see moon you don't have to see fourth house fourth lord nothing you need to see whatever i just said in this video just ask yourself what is your default response is it the way it should be or you try to find masala in things if it sounds like somebody then you may have an exalted fourth lord or an exalted planet in the fourth house your fourth house is totally damaged if you do that okay so there you go if you want to know more about this how it affects your horoscope then you can go to my website to book a reading and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with others and yes please subscribe to the channel also okay god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and he will help you improve the fourth house okay bye bye see you